Hi everyone, this is Heidi with DIY Dreaming and today I'm going to show you three different looks, three different secret sauce recipes using three different of our gel stains. So I want to just show you these real quick and then I'm going to go over that. Okay, whoops. So I have been um, sharing for the last two months, I guess, my secret sauce recipe to make uh, regular wood from the hardware store look farmhouse, look like aged, vintage, charming wood. And um, what I'm talking about specifically is stuff like this. Or it could be, you know, a cute shape, but it's still unfinished. Or coming up this uh, in two weeks or a week and a half, I'm doing um, some workshops at my house using these pine rounds that make awesome Lazy Susans. But anyways, as you can see, this wood is very, um, very plain and it does not look so great when it is just stained. So um, I think that by doing a little secret sauce, that really adds a lot. So if you haven't heard about secret sauce, you're probably wondering what that is. Well, basically what it is, is you're taking a piece of wood, uh, you're taking some paint. Uh, we have this awesome paint called Rescue Restore Paint, and there's two colors. There's biscuits and gravy and blessed, and those are the two main ones that I tend to use. So essentially to do the secret sauce, the first thing you do is beat your surface up with a hammer, with screwdrivers, with a um, ice pick, um, a chain, sanding, whatever you like, to whatever degree you want. You don't have to beat it up to get started. But then you basically take a chip brush and you're gonna dip it in your paint. You're gonna offload, which is fancy for taking most of it off your brush. And then you're just going to very lightly um, not in real thick coverage, but in light wispy motions, cover your surface. And um, one thing I like to do when I'm doing this is I like to make sure that I have it all around the edges so that you can see a distinct line uh, between the front and the sides. And the other thing I like to do is occasionally I'll dip a little bit more paint on it and I'll sort of do this stab and drag move um, and it, what it does is it puts like a blob of paint on there. So that's the first step. The next step is to take some stain and um, using a chip brush or whatever kind of brush you like, uh, you're going to dip your brush in your stain after the paint has dried and you're just going to paint the whole surface and then you wipe it off quickly with a paper towel. If it's too dark, you can get a wet paper towel and just rub on it and um, that will come up, come up for you. So let me see. Um, but what I have mostly been showing is our hazel mahogany gel stain, which is this one right here. It's a great color, I love it. This is what it looks like. Okay, you might be wondering, what is the difference between these two boards that I'm holding up? This one right here is hazel mahogany gel stain over the secret sauce using blessed, which is more of a white paint. This one is the hazel mahogany gel stain over the top of secret sauce using biscuits and gravy, which is more of a creamy ivory color. So I don't know, can you guys tell the difference? In person you can. This one is more white and this is more creamy. Uh, but uh, hazel mahogany gel stain isn't the end. There are so many other awesome stains that we sell at a maker studio that you can use to create a completely different look. And so today I'm gonna to show you two others that I haven't done before. This is the um, 
Windsor Gray Gel Stain. This stuff smells delicious, by the way. It's got essential oils in it, and it has a very distinct um, citrusy smell that smells delicious. And it's super easy to clean up after. Anyways, okay, so these two boards I made here today using this gray color gel stain, this one is over the top of Blessed Secret Sauce. And then the stencil I did on top of that is blessed. This one is biscuits and gravy secret sauce and then I did the stencil in biscuits and gravy so I don't know if you can tell the difference. This one right here is much wider and honestly that is a pretty subtle difference but this gray is awesome you guys look at the difference. Can you imagine this on a Lazy Susan or a home board or an XOXO. I just absolutely love this finish. Okay, now the next one I want to show you is our Kensington Black Gel Stain. Isn't that awesome? And by the way, I did all of these boards using full strength gel stain. I didn't dilute them at all. So this one right here is the Kensington Black, oh, that's good timing, <laughs> sorry, the Kensington Black um, over the top of Blessed Rescue Restore Secret Sauce, and then the stencil is in Blessed. This one is, uh, the Secret Sauce is Biscuits and Gravy with the Kensington Black gel stain over the top, and then the stencil is in biscuits and gravy. So can you tell the difference? This one's a little wider. This one's a little creamier. They're both awesome. So where in the past I focused just on this hazel mahogany, now we have a lot more choices. And there are other gel stains too that I just haven't um, gotten out today to show you. So, um, I told you about the technique of how you actually do it. So after you have applied your gel stain over the top of your secret sauce, then the next step is you gotta wait for it to dry, which doesn't take very long. Um, and you can accelerate the drying time if you want using a hair dryer. Just don't hold it too close. Um, but then the next step after that is to use a stencil. And um, I did all of these ones I just showed you using this stencil, which obviously you can tell I've loved it and I've used it a ton. And by the way, all this stuff on the front of here makes absolutely no difference in how the stencil transfers or performs. It, um, it just looks ugly because I didn't get it into the sink quick enough to use my sprayer and rinse it off. So it has a little residual of uh, paint, of Rescue Restore paint on it. But anyways, this is one that I have totally loved and that I used in those samples that I showed you today. And when I did biscuits and gravy as my secret sauce, then I used biscuits and gravy paint and a little um, foam dome brush to um, apply the paint over the top of the stencil. Here's another cool one that I absolutely love. This one is French script. This one is awesome too. I've used this one a ton. Not this one, I have um, several of this one. This is called a traditional tile. And it's so pretty when you use um, multiple of them. Um, this one is one that I have used most recently on the Lazy Susans that I'm working on for my workshops coming up, not this week, but next week. This says there is a season for everything. And, um, this can look Christmassy or it can just look beautiful. And if you use biscuits and gravy or blessed paint on it, you won't feel like it's a Christmassy stencil. It's good all year. And then this one I've talked a ton about. This is the XOXO stencil, which is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and I did just want to mention that right now, our stencils, uh, I think it's through this upcoming Friday, they continued the sale. They're still 50% off. And um, 
So like, for example, this cute little one is only $5. And then some of these bigger ones are like $9 rather than $17 or $18. So it's a fabulous deal. And um, if you have been wanting some stencils, this would be a great time to get some. Anyways, I think that's pretty much all I have to tell you today. Um, if you are interested in ordering any of these wonderful A Maker Studio products, um, you can do that on my website, which is www.amakersstudio.com slash paint. Hey guys, hey Melinda, hey Debbie. Uh, who else did I see? No, oh, I can't see right now. I think I saw Lisa. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, so it's amakerstudio.com slash paint is where you can order these supplies. They'll ship straight from the company to you. Um, also, I wanted to encourage you to, if you're not already following my Facebook page, please do that because I'm constantly putting new ideas, tutorials, and videos there. And I don't always put those on my personal page. I try not to do it as much. And um, I hope that you like these ideas. If you have any questions or want suggestions for a product or ideas for how to use our products, please um, feel free to send me an email, um, send me a personal message, uh, Instagram me. I have my phone number even on my um, Facebook page, so you're welcome to call me as well. And um, I hope that you have a wonderful day and a great week. And until next time, I'll see you.